Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Would Trump start a civil war? The notion of a civil war in the United States, particularly in the context of Donald Trump's political activities, is a complex and multifaceted issue. To understand this, we need to delve into the current political climate and the rhetoric surrounding Trump's campaigns. Trump's campaign and his supporters have been accused of exacerbating, deepening societal and political divides in the U.S. These divides echo some of the old Civil War battle lines that never fully healed, with racial tensions being a significant factor. Racial and Ideological Divides The 2024 election, pitting Trump against Kamala Harris, has highlighted these divisions. Trump's campaign has stoked racial tensions, with some arguing that it reflects ongoing divisions and racial tensions in the country. Similar to the Confederacy's defense of black enslavement during the 1860s Civil War. Secessionist Calls Some Republican figures have made secessionist comments. Marjorie Taylor Greene suggested a national divorce between red and blue states to avoid civil war, while Nikki Haley mentioned that Texas has discussed secession, although she later retracted her statement. Ted Cruz even implied that Texas could secede if Democrats null destroy the country null. Political violence. There have been calls for political violence from some Trump supporters. Ohio State Senator George Lang stated that a civil war might be necessary if Trump does not win the 2024 presidential election, though he later apologized for the remark. This sentiment is not isolated. Other figures have also suggested the possibility of armed conflict if Trump loses. Stochastic terrorism. Trump has been accused of encouraging null stochastic terrorism, null a form of incitement that can lead to violent acts by his followers. This was evident during the Capitol riot and in recent social media posts that target specific groups. Public perception. A 2022 poll found that 54% of strong Republicans and 40% of strong Democrats believe a civil war within the next decade is very or somewhat likely. This indicates a widespread concern about the escalating tensions in American society. Expert analysis. Experts like Joseph Sullivan and Andrew Blinkensop discuss the potential for civil war in the context of emerging technologies and partisan ideologies. They highlight scenarios where conflicts could arise, such as between federal agents and self-declared null sovereign cities, null but also note that the structural foundations for a full-scale civil war are not present in the U.S. Recent incidents. The recent assassination attempt on Donald Trump has further heightened tensions and reinforced beliefs among his supporters that they are being delegitimized. This could potentially lead to increased resentment and violence, whether Trump wins or loses the election. In summary, while the rhetoric and actions surrounding Trump's campaign have created an atmosphere where civil war is discussed more frequently, the actual likelihood of such an event is still debated among experts. The divide in the U.S. is real, but whether it will escalate to the level of a civil war remains uncertain. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.